parents, Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie is coming to theaters on September 29th. When a magical meteor crash lands in Adventure City, it gives the Paw Patrol pups superpowers. Holy smokes. But things take a turn for the worse when Humdinger breaks out of jail to steal their superpowers. Oh dear. Will the mighty pups be able to save Adventure City before it's too late? Oh, mark your calendars to see Paw Patrol, the mighty movie, in theaters on September 29th. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. On the last adventure, we were introduced to a mystery. Yes, a critter mystery of... Many friends that live in a forest have been smelling a very stinky smell and they're trying to figure out what critter is making this smell. Russell the rabbit, Reese the red squirrel, and Milo the mole are on a quest to figure out what mysterious insect is stinking up their forest. They know it's an insect. It's spiky, likes to hide in the bark, and eats pretty similar food to ladybugs. But it's not the the ladybug. She was very upset that they thought that she was the stinky thing. Anyway, there's only one more stop to try to get some more information about this bug. Next stop, the wise old owl, deep in the dark forest trees. Guys, we better move fast if we want to find the owl. It's getting dark. Russell tried to sound brave, but he was also feeling worried. Russell, maybe we should just turn back, said Milo the mole. We've gotten this far, Milo. Come on, Russell said, and they kept walking. Just before the last row of trees, they started to look for their signs of the owl. They tried to see if there were holes in the trees. Maybe they could find his home. Then in the darkest corner in the biggest tree, they saw it. One humongous pitch black tree hole. Um, guys, I think that's it, said Reese the squirrel. Mm. They all gulped and looked in awe. It was super high and scary. <laughs> okay, um, uh, Reese. Oh, Reese, you you go. You do it. Russell tried to give Reese a little push. No way, my friend. That is far too scary for my little furry tail. Reese said and shook his head. Uh, Milo, how about you? Absolutely not. Nope. Too scary. And my fingers aren't good at climbing. Milo said. He was a mole. Moles were better at digging. They were at a standstill. Russell was just as scared as his friends, and rabbits don't climb trees anyway. Russell was starting to think about giving up. Then he saw a shadow dash over his head. (laughs) What was that? Russell whispered. The friends looked up in the sky and saw him, the wise old owl silently gliding above them. He perched on a branch and looked down at them with his big, round, glowing eyes. Ooh, ooh, who dares to approach the wise old home? Ooh, ooh, who dares to venture this far into the forest? Wilder, Mr. Owl, Russell called up. He was very nervous at first and had to shake himself to even get words out of his little furry mouth. The owl flew down to them in one big swoop and stared at each of them, slowly turning his slightly creepy head one by one. 
We are on a quest, Mr. Owl. Uh, we are searching for the answers to the mysterious insects of our forest. We, we, um, we know it's a beetle. It is not tasty for frogs. It burrows inward, and boy, oh boy, it stinks. Ooh, ooh, oh, I see you've come to the right hour. This insect has become a mystery to many animals of this forest. They hide well, and their colors camouflage easily in the bark and dead leaves. Some call it the shield bugs because its back reminds them of warriors. The owl spoke slowly and mysteriously. It sneaks through the trees, leaving a smell like rotting fruit all around. Well, what is it called, Mr. Owl? Milo the mole peeped up. It's quite simply, really. It's called a... Wait, 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 hold on, time out. The owl's about to reveal the mystery. You have any ideas here? Hmm, this insect might be a mystery to Russell and his friends, but... It's very likely you, yes, you have seen these little buggers near your... where you live. All right, I think... I think I have it. On the count of three, let's shout our guests. One, two, three. A skunk. Yes, skunks are stinky and... Oh, wait. They don't do any of the other things. They're not pokey and they don't have a shield on their back. Oh, that was that was embarrassing. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> we need to come up with a bug that stinks. All right, let's try this again. Wait, what'd you say? A stink bug? Yeah, that makes so much more sense than my guess. A stink bug. Yes, yeah, stink bugs are stinky. Live in the forest and bury themselves in trees. And oh yes, they have that cool colored back that looks like a shield. Wow, the mysterious insect of the forest is the one and only stink bug. When Russell, Reese, and Milo heard Mr. Owl say the name, they laughed a lot. Really, this stinky little mysterious critter <laughs> is just called a stink bug. Wow, Mr. Owl, <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing. I feel like we should have guessed that from the start, Russell said. But Mr. Owl, why does it stink so much? Well, stink bugs use their smell as a defense mechanism to keep predators away. They release a foul odor when they feel <laughs> threatened. The animals were all impressed by the stink bug's clever defense mechanism. All this time, the smell had really just been the little bug's way of keeping itself safe. From that day on, the stink bug's lived happily in the forest. And the critters learned that the smell wasn't so bad after all. Whenever they smelled that little stink bug, they just remember it was a special way the little guys kept themselves safe. And the other animals learned that sometimes what makes you different can also be what makes you special. Wow, great job solving that mystery. This may be the end of our story, but we have some Critter Protector shoutouts to get to just in a one, two, three, a few seconds. <laughs> I'll see you there. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Jude, who's turning eight years old. Jude loves sports, Mariners, baseball, and Seahawks, football, and Julio Rodriguez. Wow, Jude, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy 8th birthday. And next up, we have... Happy birthday, Gavin, who's turning 6 years old. Gavin loves Legos, is starting kindergarten, and just moved into a new house. Wow, Gavin, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy 6th 
birthday. Well, my critter protectors, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Hey, parents. Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan by visiting causeforalarm.org.